Lord, I want to thank you, Father, and I give all the glory and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Welcome to Overcome as Deliverance and Healing Ministry. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki. Welcome you. Amen. Uh, I'm going to talk to you the subject called Powerful Prayer to Destroy the Wicked. Powerful Prayer to Destroy the Wicked. And I'm going to read from the book of Psalms 37, 5, 5, Psalms 37, 12 to 16. Psalms 37, 12 to 16. The Bible says, The wicked plots against the righteous and the grants his teeth at him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend their bows to bring down the poor and need to stain those who, whose way is upright. Their sword shall enter their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. Better in the ritual than the writer, the righteous, has done the boundary of many wicked. You see, the wicked, the, broad, the wicked tell planning. So the wicked, they plan against the righteous. The, the wicked, they are planning against good people. And grand, grand teeth against, against them. You know, the wicked, they are wicked. So always they are planning evil against the righteous, against good people. You have not done anything, but the grand teeth, they say, hmm, how how can I, what can I do to this person? But the Bible says the Lord loves at the wicked. God loves at the wicked because their days is coming. So if you are a prayerful person, if you are a, a powerful prayer, and the wicked is planning against you, Lord love God loves at that wicked because he doesn't. God knows that what is going to happen to the wicked it is terrible. So when the wicked throw, the wicked is planning so wickedly and evil against the, against the righteous against against a good person, and then he throw he go as far as drawing a sword against the against the righteous. They want to destroy a good person, the person a prayer a prayer a prayer warrior. If 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 you are a prayer warrior, and you are pray, prayerful. Then the wicked will try to attack you. Anything that is will try to attack you will turn back to his own heart. That's what the Bible says. And that's why God is loving at the wicked. That, that, that's, that's why it means it needs to be, be prayerful. If you are, you are praying, you will bring down the wicked. You will crush the wicked in pieces. You will dismantle them. The prayers that we offer, it will go and torment the wicked. When the wicked is trying to destroy the righteous child of God, and you are praying, you pray the prayer like now, some of you, it is midnight, it's night, or morning, early in the morning. You are praying, asking God, and the wicked is planning wicked. This wicked, everything is doing, it will go back to his, his own heart. They, they plan to bring even the, the poor down. The wicked, his, his schemes, his mindset is to see that you have been destroyed. Uh, a, lady, a lady called me yesterday and she told me that the husband, there was a lady we prayed, the husband ran away from her and went to live with another woman. So after the prayer, God restored back the woman. And then the, the man gave the woman a BMW as a gift. Now, this woman, she didn't buy the car. The husband is the one who bought the car for her. She went to work with the, the BMW. Now, people were very jealous and angry. And they tried everything. They were mocking her. So, until slight mistake was happened at work. You know, they fired her. They fired her because they wanted to, to see that if they fire her, she will not be able to pay that, that BMW. Now, but because they didn't know 
that this BMW was brought by the husband. What they know that the husband ran away to the woman. She's, she's missing. How did, where did she get money to buy a BMW? Now she was fired. She was told me that she, she was fired from. I told her, no, don't worry. That is your promotion. The promotion, big promotion is coming. Don't worry. Because this car, it was your husband. Restoration. Your husband brought you the car. Now the enemy is very jealous that why you are, you are, you, you, where did you get money to buy the car? Yeah? They plan evil against her. So I told her, you submit and arrest me. Go and God will give you a better job than that one. Don't worry. And that's how God works. So when you pray the, the prayer against the wicked, the prayer will, will come and attack this wicked and bring them down. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Yes, Jesus. You know, the wicked throw the sword and bend their bows to bring down the poor and the need. They, they, they will try to bring you down. They will try everything to destroy you. They plan, they think of how to, to see you, to make sure that you are suffering. How to take your, 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 day, your, your source of income. How to take your daily bread. That's what they plan. But the Bible says God loves at them. Because what is going to happen is terrible to them. The book of Deuteronomy 9, verse 3, the Bible says, Therefore, understand today, the Lord your God is who goes before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you, as you shall drop them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said to you. So, God himself is a consuming fire. He goes to your enemies. He goes to the wicked and they will destroy them. It's just prayer. prayer. Prayerful prayer that will bring down the wicked. That will make the wicked to suffer. That will destroy the wicked. God cannot stand, God cannot consume your wicked if you are not praying. This is what the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 9, verse 3. Therefore, understand today the Lord your God is who goes before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you as so you shall drop, the, you shall drop, the, you shall drop them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord has said. Now, God is God. You need, you need God to fight for you. You need God to, to consume your enemies. The enemies that is against you, that is working against, against your life, that wants to block you from getting good things. This is an enemy that God will consume them. God will consume them because God is a consuming fire. If you ask God to consume the witches, that are terrifying you, the witches that are tormenting you, the witches that are making your life miserable, God will go with consuming fire. The wicked are so evil, and they plan so wicked and wickedly, but God will visit them with, with the fire, because it's a consuming fire. He will burn them to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father, that God, you will consume every enemy that is working against me, that is working against my life, that is working against my children. That is how you will pray. You will pray that every enemy that is working against my marriage, that is working against my, my job. Some of you, you need, you need God to visit your enemy with the consuming fire. Like now, if they plan a scheme to fire you from work, because of greed and jealousy, and that is wicked. You have to stand and pray against the wicked. Wherever they are planning against you, God is love, God will love and, and mock it and mark them. Therefore, I pray that every enemy that is working against you, may the God Almighty go, go visit them with the fire. May the fire of God consume them. May God consume every wicked that is working against you, whether in the spirit or in physical, or wherever they use. They can use animals, they can use anything to come to afflict you, to destroy you.
Therefore, I pray that God Almighty will destroy them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Yes, God, my Father. Uh, let's look at the book of Exodus 14, verse 14. The Lord God will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. So the Lord God will fight for you. You shall hold your, feet, your, your peace. So don't worry about the wicked. You just pray. Pray the Lord will fight for you. What you are going through, God will fight for you. You may be, you, 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 you may be thinking that what am I going to do now? How, am, how, how these things is going to, to be? How am I to handle these things? But the Lord will fight for you. Give God permission. He will take over. You know we have angels. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, God is God. God is able to go and fight for your enemy. When you focus on prayer, powerful prayer to destroy the enemies, to, to, to destroy the wicked, you, you concentrate, pray. Take time to pray the prayers that we pray. We have so many, I have so many videos to can, you can pray. Or you can always contact us to ask me if we, if, if we can prepare for you some prayers. We have our book, 21 Days Prayer and Fasting. You, if you get that book, you pray those prayers, your life will never be the same again. You need to you know how to pray and destroy the works of the enemies, the works of the wicked. This world, there's a lot of wicked than, than good people. Look at that the scripture, Psalm, Psalm 37. Yeah? The wicked plots against the righteous. The, weak, the wicked plants plots against the wicked. And the grants his teeth against at, at him. It's just wicked. They are just wicked. You have not done anything, but they are planning evil. They are planning so, so wickedly, wickedly against you, against your children, against your job. They, they are watching, and they are very greedy. Very, they are jealous, and they are watching. Then they will see how to bring you down, how to destroy you, how you, you can get fired, how you lose that job, how you to lose that job. They, they, they watch and they, they are working, they are not happy. They are, even if you do them wicked people, even if you do everything good to them, they don't appreciate. They are wicked. That's, the, that's how they are. They just hate you for nothing. So you cannot wait until they, they, they remove you from job, they remove you from your work, they destroy you. You have to pray, as the Bible says, their sword will return back to them. That's why we pray back to, send, to the sender. Back to the sender. We return every curse back to the sender. Every sickness back to the sender. That's why you see their, sword, their own sword turns back to them. There are so many scriptures talking about that. Psalms 8, it talks the same thing. Now, when you look at that the, the scripture, let me see. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Psalms 8. God is good. Psalms 8 or Psalms 10. Not sure if Psalms 8. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. God, you are so good. My Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. You are so good, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Psalms 10, not Psalms 8. Psalms 10, verse 2. Uh, if you look at uh, verse 2, it says, The wicked in his pride do it, persecute the poor, and let them be taken into the device that they have imagined. The wicked post of his heart, Desire and blessed the converts whom the Lord adoreth. Through the, 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 the as the wicked plan evil, let the, their own devices that they have imagined turn back to themselves. Look at that scripture. They plan so wicked. The wicked in his pride do it, 
pursued the poor and let them be taken in the device they have imagined. So, and the advice, the, the device they are using against the righteous, it will return back to them. It will be taken from them and turned back to them. The Lord will fight for you and you will have your peace. The Lord Almighty will fight for you and have your peace. Let God fight for you. Every trouble you are facing, let God fight for you in the name of Jesus. Let God Almighty fight for you tonight. Ask him to fight for you. Anything that is going, anything that is going on in your life, let God fight for you. Any power that is working against you, let God fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord. Jesus, I want to thank you tonight. You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are God. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Hold your peace and let God fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arise and destroy every evil habitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Holy Ghost fire arise and destroy every evil habitation in your life, in your family, in your children, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every satanic incarnations pronounced against you, I command them to be to render a narrow and avoid in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty will destroy every satanic incarnation pronounced against you and your family and be rendered and narrow and avoid in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is illegal for the powers of darkness to show up where the children of the living God are gathered. So everywhere the children of God are gathered, and then all this wicked, when it, 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 it appears, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and let the enemy be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Almighty God arise and his enemy be scattered. Let your enemy be scattered. Let the wicked be scattered. Every wicked that is rising against you, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God go to the camp of the enemy and burn them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, I pray that God, let, the, let your fire consume the enemies that is working against you, that is racing against you, that is racing against your children and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every satanic gathering against you and your family, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Every association of demons against your life, Against, uh, uh, against your life and your family, I pray that let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Every wicked planning against you, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to bless your name. I give you the glory, God. Loving Father, I thank you. Loving Father, I honor you. Loving Father, I give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, arise in your power and the weight war against the adversary, against the works of the enemy, against the works of the darkness, against the powers of the enemy that is rising against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, move, 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 move to these people. Move and, and mark the enemies that is destroying their life, that is attacking their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. All crocodiles, I command you to vomit everything you have swallowed up in the life of this person. In the mighty name of Jesus. All crocodile, I command you to vomit everything you have swallowed up in the life of this person. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, my Father. I pray that let God show you the enemy where he has kept your buried blessings. You know, the, uh, the enemy has, has taken your blessings and he has gone to bury it down. He has buried your blessings. So you've been working, praying, praying, and your blessings is being buried. Your money is being buried on the grave. They are buried in your, your finances. So I pray that the Lord will show you, the enemy will, the enemy will show you 
where they have buried your, your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Where they have kept your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why I pray that let the, all the crocodile that has been taken all your wealth, that has been swallowed your wealth, let them vomit them in the mighty name of Jesus. All the wicked, where they have kept your wealth, where they have kept your blessings, let them vomit in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, I want to praise your name. Holy Ghost, arise. Chase away every dog pursuing you in Jesus' name. You know, the dog called animals, that is the wicked animals that the, the witchcraft using, they using, they, they are using these animals to pursue, to take away everything. And that's why they are, these animals, some of you, they appear in your dreams, even they beat you and you see them in the dreams because when you see them, it will chase away your blessings. And that's why I pray that every, oh, every dog that is chasing away every good things, pursuing you, let that dog die in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to give you all the glory, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, arise and arise and set away, set, set free. Let God arise and set you free from the prison and set you free from the bondage and set you free from the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to worship you, God. God, you, you are God. You are wonderful. You are a mighty God. Jesus, I want to thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are, you are struggling. You have been worried so much. Let God fight for you because it's a consuming fire. He will go and consume your enemy. You don't, you don't, you don't worry, don't worry so much. Remember Jesus himself says, don't worry. Don't even think of what you eat, what you will drink. Let, let the day itself fight for themselves. We are human beings, yes. But when you worry yourself so much, and the Bible says don't worry, then it means that God cannot fight for you. You focus on prayers. Ignore the problem you are facing. Just go there and speak the word. It will be established. Uh, pray the prayer that which says, you wicked, that has been programming in my life. That has caused me this way. I am com commanding the fire of God. I am commanding the consuming fire to fall upon you and burn you to ashes. You use the fire. Use the fire of God. Remember, God says he loves at the wicked. Because when the wicked bend his, his, his sword, to shoot you, the, the sword will go back to his heart. It will destroy them. Any, anything that is going to, you are going to do, yes, you are going to do right now, but the, it will go back to the sender. It will go back, back where it came from. Now, when you are facing that sickness, you are in pain, you feel like nothing is happening to you, focus to God. Repent and ask God to take away the sickness. God for sure will come. All those wicked, all the sickness you are, you, are, you are having, it is from the enemy. And the enemy will take it back because God is able to take it and, and a sickness in your body and give it to the enemy. That's what the Bible says. He will take the sickness and put it to those who hate you. The poverty is a curse. So it will go back where it came from. Any, anything that you are facing, it has the honor. So that's why you need to pray so that God can, can fight for you. God is able to fight for you. Give God permission to fight for you. Any schemes where they are gathered against you, mentioning your name, let consuming fire fall upon them and burn them to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the, the wicked, they plan so wicked and wickedly. They are not happy for you. So because they are not happy, you have to raise up banner. You have to raise up the, the prayers. You have to know how to pray. That prayer that will, will, will go and attack them. We don't use the gun. We, that's what I say, I say all the time. We don't use knife. We don't use gun. We don't use anything. We go in the spiritual realm. We go to, with the prayers. Themselves, the wicked, they, 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 they take it. Even they can come with the gun. They can come with the, with the sword. But you will come with the word of God. Look at David and Goliath. When Goliath was standing with the sword, with the, everything that he wants to destroy David. But David went with this word, the word of God and the, and, and the stones. He didn't use a, a, that, that strong weapon. 
So your word, the word itself is a sword. When you, you throw this prayer to the wicked, the wicked, it will go there and destroy them. God is almighty God and his word is very true. It will never be avoided. Heaven and earth will pass, but this word will never pass. If you see the wicked people, it will, the word of God will start tormenting you. The demon, they, send, they, they, send, they, they, they come to you when there is an opening and they start tormenting you. But when they come, if there is an open door, they have come in. Close that door immediately. Closing the door by praying very powerful prayer to bring them down. The door of the enemy, when the enemy can come in, it will come in like floods. But the Lord will raise our standard, a standard of the Holy Spirit to fight them. Because God is, himself is a consuming fire. He will use fire, he will use his Holy Spirit, he will use angels to make sure that he has destroyed the wicked. That has planned to destroy your life. That's why he's loving. That's why God is loving at the wicked. Because he doesn't know that how God is going to come and fight for, it, for them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, God. You are a wonderful Father. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. My God, you are so good. I pray that let, 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 I pray that God will connect you with the anointing of glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to give you all the glory, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your people into your hand, God. Any wicked, any power that is, uh, uh, that is working against them. Any wicked power that is working against you. Any power of the enemy that is racing against you. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that let them be destroyed by fire, by thunder, in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume every wicked power, every evil, and every satanic activity that has been planned against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, thank you, Father. Jesus, you are wonderful. You are what, God? You are so good, Jesus. We thank you tonight and we give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to stop here. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. See you. See you on Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. We don't have any prayer. We have our prayer meeting, deliverance meeting at uh, primary, uh, uh, primary city, not primary city center, at the Brampton Civic Center. Brampton Civic Center at the library, room 10, room 118. And we meet there every seven, every every Friday, seven p.m. Seven p.m. The place is located at uh, Central Park, uh, Central Park Drive. It is opposite the police station. If you know Bramley Police Station, Brampton Police Station, Bramley, you will come and uh, you will see the place is just there is a building, a very big building near Fresco uh, store. So we meet there at 7 o'clock every Friday, 7 p.m. That's where we do our deliverance. If you are looking for, if you want to come for deliverance, if you live Mississauga, uh, Scarborough, Toronto, around here, uh, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. God bless you. You can go to visit our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot. There is a new videos, there is a prayers that, that can help you. We have prayers. If you are looking for the prayers, there is a prayers called cleansing, cleansing prayer. There are a lot of prayer points that you can go there and you pray them. It will help you and it will make the enemy to be destroyed and the enemy will be consumed by fire. And if you need me to pray with you, you can always reach us. And we, we, we thank God that God is, will help you. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. I love you so much. There is nothing I can do about it. So our number to reach me is 647. Wow. 647. This thing is terrible. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Our number to reach me is 647 six eight zero six four seven six zero eight five two zero seven this is the number 
that you want to come to call me, you can reach me on this number. Also, we have na our free number is uh, 877 2413420. God bless you so much. See you on Saturday, 8 o'clock a.m. and Sunday, 8 o'clock a.m. So we don't have any prayer tonight, tomorrow night. We only have the deliverance prayer starting 7 p.m. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Again.